Okay, freeze plugs on a Chevy. I've seen different videos and they make it a lot more complicated than it is. This one I've got probably 90% of the way out. And uh, as you can see when you look in there, it's I've got to take some uh, needle nose and pull that last lip out of there. I've gotten these two out, this one, and this one cleanly did not score the the board that they sit in or anything like that. That's a big mistake people make. Now, this is upside down on the engine stand, obviously. You can see the oil pan. Uh, this one looks okay, but this one has signs of leakage, as you can see. It's, it's right here. It's been leaking down, so it's got a little rust spot there. It's, uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but in the... In the lip, there's a little rust spot, which I could take a screwdriver with a hammer. You don't have to nail it. You don't have to pound on it because what happens is the cooling, the uh, jackets for the pistons are behind there. you got the cooling system and the jackets. If you pound in there too hard, you're going to hit those jackets for the pistons. You don't want to do that. So put the screwdriver right, not on the outside lip, but on the inside lip here where they meet, where the integrity is, on your hole get a little hole started and then you can take the screwdriver I'll show you on a new one because the integrity of these things when they're like this people say you know hit one side hit the other eventually it'll it'll uh, if it sits in this way when you hit it with a hammer it'll cock eye then you can grab it with needle nose but this right here where it meets the integrity makes it extremely strong and hard to do that so with it in there, if you take the screwdriver and instead of trying to pound on this outer lip, which can score the, the bore, come inside where it meets, where the wall and the backside meet. Get a little hole started and then start taking your screwdriver. Sorry guys, I'm trying to do this with one hand. Get the hole started, start taking your screwdriver and driving around in a pattern so that you're basically chipping away at it. You don't have to take a a Dremel, you don't have to take a, a, a skill saw or anything. Just get a hole started, keep on hammering around, around, around. Eventually it becomes like a like a tuna fish can where the lid's kind of poking in. You can reach inside there with the screwdriver and pry it back, keep on working. Eventually you'll just have like maybe like 3 16 of an inch still connected. You can reach in with some needle nose or get the screwdriver behind it. And pry this part, the center part, out. And you will be left with just this part sitting inside the bore. It becomes a thousand times easier just to get this part out rather than trying to get it with that part still in there. So basically you can see that's how that went. I took the screwdriver and pounded it around like a tuna fish can. Got it so it was just connected with the little lip. Pulled, the, pulled this part out with needle nose. This was still stuck in the block. At that point, let me pause for a minute and I will show you how to get that part out of the block without scoring your bore, without damaging the cooling jackets, and it's actually very simple. You don't have to take a Dremel, don't have to take a die grinder, don't have to take a skill saw, nothing. Okay, I am going to put the light on. And I'm going to show you how I've got this just about ready to come out. I've come inside and poked around, poked around. Take the screwdriver behind it. Sorry for the shitty camera work. I'm trying to do it with one hand. Basically get it to the point where this metal is very malleable. Very, very bendable. See? That part just came out. I'm left with just this lip inside the board, just the outer part. Now the part you want to be careful of is obviously the piston jacket behind there. So you don't want to miss and come into the piston jacket. I'm going to show you how to get this. Once this part is out, that's the integrity of it. That's what's, if you try and pound here, pound here, pound here, pound here with the center part in, that integrity right there makes it so hard. Once you got this out, you can come on this lip. But 
I suggest a lot of people use PB Blaster. I swear by this stuff. Um, my girlfriend works at Ace and they get this stuff in. It exhaust bolts, anything that's rusted, anything that's stuck, this stuff is 10 times better than PB Blaster. It's a deep penetrating lubricant. It's called TriFlow. Kind of spendy, like 15 bucks a can, but it does work. Um, and I already pre-soaked this uh, with the center in there. I already pre-soaked it, but I'm going to put a little bit more around the lip. Then, let's see if I can find a way to prop this phone up so you can see how easy this actually becomes. I don't know that I can, but basically what I'll do is I'll show you at this point, it's going to take me maybe 30 seconds. At this point, get a uh, flathead screwdriver. Make sure it's got a pretty fine point on it. You don't want one that's blunted that you've broken the tip off or anything before. You're going to come and you're going to be really careful so that you don't score the, the bore. Tuck it in so that you've got it held. And it's not going to slip. Let's see if I can, I might even be able to do this with one hand because these have been coming out very, very easy for me this way. I mean, I've watched people dremel them out and skill saw them out and try all kinds of shit and, and, and taking an hour to get each one out. And I'm getting these things out. And once I get that center on, I'm getting them out in 30 seconds. Okay, hang on. Let me, let me set this down. You've got the gist of what I'm doing, but watch. I will pause this for a minute and come back. Okay. Guess I should invest in a GoPro. But basically, if you see this bottom lip is starting to go inward. I've just been tap, 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 tap. You might have to give it a little bit of a brunt, but make sure that you're based on there so that you don't slip and go into the cooling jacket. But now that I've got it started, if I can get my hand off of there, damn it, it just becomes I am literally through there. I am in there. Sorry, I will move my, I'm sorry about the shitty camera work. I am through there. I've still got the screwdriver under there. Give a little bit of pressure up just to kind of crimp it. Then work your way over to the side, pull up, crimp it. Give another tap at the top. It's out. So now, just reach in with the needle nose. Pull it right out. Uh, like I said, I apologize for the terrible camera work. I don't have a GoPro, GoPro with me. I was trying to give you the gist of it, but... So, once you've got this outside part, once you've got the outside part just left in the bore and you don't have 